China has accused the United States of continuously hacking the servers of telecom giant Huawei to steal critical data since 2009. A former U.S. defense contractor, Edward Snowden, had revealed the breach about a decade ago after he leaked documents exposing Washington's global spying operations. China's Ministry of State Security released the accusation on its official WeChat account, referring to America's cyber espionage as, quote, key despicable methods. It also alleged that Washington had big influential tech firms install back doors in its systems so it could steal data from countries including China and Russia. Beijing reportedly banned government officials and employees at state-owned enterprises from using Apple's iPhones. China had also announced last week that it had discovered the identity of at least one U.S. intelligence operative following a probe into a recent cyber attack on a university in Xi'an. And for more, Lo Min Min joins us. She's live in Shanghai. Min Min, heavy accusations from China against the United States there. What else did the report have to say? It was quite a strongly worded report from the Ministry of State Security. It not only confirmed the hack into Huawei, it also says the U.S. has been systematically trying to steal Chinese data, citing other examples, including a hack into a Chinese university, saying the U.S. had controlled tens of thousands of network devices and gained access into vast amounts of high-quality data. The report also called out U.S. hypocrisy, saying the U.S. is notorious for eavesdropping on other countries, and yet it wants to portray itself as a victim of cyber attack, and it's trying to smear China as being the threat to cyber security. The report also said that the U.S. is inciting and coercing other countries to join it in eliminating Chinese companies in the international network market. Now, we know the U.S. has been persuading its allies not to use Huawei's 5G technology, for instance, and the U.S has also been employing an arsenal of tools, everything from executive orders to new legislation to blacklists and export controls to limit China's access to high technology that could cripple Huawei's growth. Min Min, Huawei's new phone series, that's also come under U.S. scrutiny. There are renewed calls for stronger sanctions. How has China been reacting to that? That's right. That phone was released quietly during the U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo's visit to Beijing. So that timing was seen as a slap in America's face. But here in China, Chinese state media and the public has been cheering on this launch. They see it as Huawei's comeback into the smartphone market after it was crippled by U.S. sanctions. But there are undoubtedly questions about how China is manufacturing these advanced chips that power those phones or how was it able to circumvent those U.S. sanctions. But it's clear that this phone is now fast becoming a symbol of China's technological resilience. There are long queues outside Huawei stores to buy those phones. And at the foreign ministry press briefing today, uh, the spokesperson said that U.S. attempts to suppress Chinese companies is discriminatory and unfair. And it goes against the principle of uh, free competition and is of no interest interest to anybody. We know that Huawei is going to hold a highly anticipated press conference about its new phones on September 25th. That's also the one-year anniversary of the return of Meng Wanzhou, a Huawei executive who was detained in Canada for allegedly violating U.S. trade sanctions on Iran. So that timing is also significant and strategic. Min Min, thank you for that. Lo Min Min, they're reporting for us live from Shanghai.